Doesn't that look yummy? It's my trail mix. <laughs> Left it in the car like 90 degree heat today. I don't have a spoon, so you know it's just like squeeze it out of the bag and yeah, like that. There we go. What the heck? I got a sheep's head. Are you kidding? I'm trying to catch pinfish and I catch a big sheep's head. <laughs> oh no. This is crazy. Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey, you know what? This video is going to be just about catching pinfish. You know that video I uploaded the other day where I was catching the Jack Crevals? We had some really decent sized pinfish. And you know there are a lot of different methods people use. I actually made a video when I first started this channel. It was called Catching Pinfish on Small Spoons. And uh, you got to check that out because that was like a total surprise to me. I went down there just to see what I could catch on the small spoons and ended up catching a bunch of pinfish. So anyway, um, yeah, this video is going to be just about how to catch pinfish. Crazy as that sounds. Hey, you see my rig here. I just tie a sinker on the bottom and two really, really small hooks because pinfish have small mouths. And actually, the pieces of bait should be smaller than that. All right, so I was just looking at the package. The uh, hook size that I was using to catch those pinfish today is a size uh, six. Really small hooks, you know, they, like I said, they've got super, super small mouths. Yeah, let me show you these guys, the ones that I caught. I don't know, I got about six or seven of them in there. I want you to notice something. See how small their mouths are? But uh, I had a couple shrimp tails there. I threw them on there. Maybe we'll get us a sheep's head. So you just you, you just thread the hook on, you know, pull it up on the line, depending on how many hooks you're going to have on there. And then I just tie like you'd be tying your sh shoe, you know, a square knot two times like that. And uh, that's it. You can put three or four hooks on there. You don't have to buy a, buy a sabiki rig. You can just make your own rig. There's so many of them out there, man. As soon as it hits the water, they, oh, that's a big sheep set or a big snapper. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm catching these fish, sheep's head on these little bitty pieces of shrimp. That's amazing. And then once you do that, you tie your hooks on there, then just take you a, take an egg sinker or in, any kind of sinker, you know, small pyramid sinker, or even you can crimp some split shots on there if you want. But always put the sinker, always put the sinker on the bottom of the rig and you can tie that on with square knots or clinch knots or polymer knots or whatever kind of knot but always put the weight on the bottom of the rig there we go oh my god another sheep set no way no snapper big snapper man he was hungry for that thing I want a pinfish not a snapper see if I can show you this the weight goes down on the, the, the bottom like that, and then the hook is up here, and here's your, your line that goes out to your fishing rod. And when you get a bite, you'll be able to feel them better because the weight is here, and the bite is actually going to be, you're going to be feeling the bait. You'll feel the weight, but you're going to feel the bite. If you have the weight up here and the hook down here, you feel more of the weight than the bite. There we go, that's what I'm looking for right there. That's a good one. Now I've been doing this for like ever since I was a kid, man. When I was like 12 years old, we used to catch pinfish and uh, for the bait shop in exchange for sandwiches and Cokes. And uh, we'd go up on the bridge and we'd rig up about five or six hooks on one rig. And uh, yeah, they'd give us a bunch of shrimp and we'd go up on the bridge and catch a bunch of pinfish. So 